And your OPSU Aggie season is underway. Ball goes deep and goes out of bounds about the three yard line. As the wind kind of caught that one, pushed it and pushing it out of bounds. Once again, I'd like to thank everybody here for joining us on this PTCI live stream. The Aggies will take over with possession at the 35 after that kick out of bounds. We see the Aggies under the direction of Coach Bob Majeski. Majeski has been here for a few seasons already. The Aggies last year went four and seven. As was their overall record, Aggies trying to improve on that this year. Maybe get a winning season as we have your Aggies lining up in the shotgun formation. Pass there is out to the flat. Got two good blockers, number 30. He's got a first down. Good pass and catch there as we have your qu quarterback number one, Brandon Stevens, the sophomore for the Aggies, completing that there to number 30, D. Gafford. Stevens here staying in the pistol formation. Play action pass, thrown to the slant, and that is in and out of the hands of number six, Ryan Acosta. A lot of these faces here are going to be familiar as last year we had a young Aggie team, especially on the skill positions. A lot of returning starters as number one, Brandon Stevens, number six, Ryan Acosta, both coming back. We also have uh, number 25, one of the leaders for your Aggie defense, Daquan Charles. Returning, leading that Aggie defense at linebacker. Stevens sends a man in motion. Keeps it himself, running the option. Stevens making men miss, look at that. He is eventually tripped up there by number 13 of the Falcons, Braden Gordon. We're gonna have a third and two. Stevens in the shotgun formation. Two receivers out to the right side. Third down here. Oh, and we do get draw off sides there as Stevens on the hard count, throwing it deep, trying to make him pay for it. It is out of bounds, but we do have an off sides there on the Falcons. on the offsides on the defense. The five yard penalty makes it first down. And that pass there is tipped by the Falcons, making it a second down. Intended there for number 16 on the Aggies, Catino Ray. Makes it a second and 10 here. Stevens in the shotgun once again. Falcons showing a blitz there. Quick screen out there to number five on the edge. And he is met there by defenders. That is Jalen Partita on the catch. He is tackled there by number three. Aaron Jamison Johnson for the Falcons makes it a third and long here for the Aggies as they are in Falcon territory. We're going to see trips out to the right. And Acosta is going to go back over to the left. They're trying to get the signal in. Looks like they're a little confused. Oh, we got a late substitution here on the offense. Ten seconds left on the play clock. And we're going to get a timeout here on the offense. Offensive coordinator is upset here as they could not get that formation down. Your Aggies are coached here by, like, M Bob Majeski is the head coach. Your offensive coordinator is Christian Escobar. He's in his third season here with the Aggies. Also, for the Falcons, we are coached by Terry Harrison for Friends University Falcons. He's in his first season as the Falcons only had a one win, one win last year in 2021, trying to improve on that one win, nine losses, and they have 
Terry Harrison in their first season as a head coach. He's coming from Sterling College, also located in Kansas. Friends University out of Wichita, Kansas. They're also assisted by Paul Kempf, Jeremy Reed, and Eric Kelly. This is a non-conference game for the Aggies as they are in the Sooner Athletic Conference and the Falcons are not. Aggies trying to open up here with the season with the win, get their feet on the, on the ground running. And we got trips out to the left here after that timeout, third and long, Deshaun Stevens in the shotgun. Falcons showing maybe a blitz here. Stevens looking to the left, got a slant over the middle, and it's complete, and we might have more. And that is complete for a touchdown. No flags on the play, as that is a good passing catch from Stevens to Zamare Fountain, bringing that in for a 42-yard passing catch for the touchdown. Aggies get on the board here with 13-01 in the first quarter. Number nine, Zamare Fountain, the wide receiver, sophomore, from Macomb, Mississippi with your first score here for the Aggies. And out to kick for your Aggies is number 65, Javier Sencio, up and in. And here with 13-01 in the first quarter, we have your Aggies with the early lead, 7-0 over the Friends University Falcons. To kick for your Aggies, Javier Sinencio. The freshman from Gaiman, Oklahoma, just 10 miles away here from Goodwell. Ready to kick here. Boots it deep, out to about the uh, three yard line, taking a bounce in the end zone before Friends University gets on it. And Aggies are all over that one, tackling him about the 12 yard line. And we do have a flag on the play. That was number 12, Zamarian Gibson on the return. We'll see what the call is here. We'll have holding on the return team. They'll be half the distance to the goal. The, the Falcons will take it deep in their own territory at the six yard line, first and 10. Coming underneath, under the center for the, the Falcons. Number 14, looking, running the triple option up into the fullback for a short gain. Your quarterback for the Falcons is number 14, Jack Mullen, the junior from Overland Park, Kansas. In the backfield for your Falcons, you have number 31, Zach Dressler, the junior from Douglas, Kansas, and Number two, Caden Rigsby from Gunter, Texas. We got the pitch here on the triple option, and that is met immediately by the Aggies. Taken down in the backfield by number 50. 
Victor Villa, the freshman. It is third and nine here for the Falcons. Molin getting the call in from the sideline. Probably can expect a pass here on third and long. Triple option play. Oh, and the pitch is good. Out to number six. We do have a flag. The run there number by number six, Lake and Cloudus. He's pushed out of bounds, but we do have a flag here. It wasn't good enough for a first down. Oh, it was good enough for a first down. And we have a sideline penalty on Panhandle State. Looks like the side back side judge is having a conversation with Bob Majeski, telling him that he's got to stay back off the field of play. So we got a first and ten for the Falcons. Ball is at the 17-yard line. Mullen under center. He's going to keep it himself, trying to get out to the right side, and he is not getting anywhere met by the hoist of the Aggie D-line. That's going nowhere. The Aggie's all over that one. Makes it about second. And nine. Other than the one successful pitch out to the left sideline, Falcons offense hasn't had much yet this in these first four plays on offense. Starting deep within their own territory. Jack Mullen hands it off up there as fullback. Fullback trying to fight for everything, but he is met immediately by number 50 and number 15. Number 15, Nathan Alvarado with the tackle, and as well, number 50, Victor Villa. It is another third and long here for the Falcons. We're going to have doubles out to the left side. Covering up one receiver as well. For sure expect to run. Oh, we got a good triple option play here, and Mullen is met with a gain of nothing there by number 11 on the Aggies, Cameron Dickerson, the junior, saying you're not going anywhere. Fourth and eight. The Falcons are going to be forced to punt. And it seems like the friend's offense was stuttering a little bit there. And out the punt for Friends University is number 44, Bobby Schmidt. We do have some whistles here stopping the play. It looks like we're going to get a false start here. Going to back him up five yards. And number nine, Zemmeray Fountain, back to return. He's responsible for your receiving touchdown for your Aggies. That punt doesn't get in there. It takes a Friends University bounce. Man, maybe bounce about 10, 15 yards down to the 35-yard line. That'll result in a 65-yard punt there by number 44, Bobby Schmidt. Trying to change the field position here. Aggies will start first and 10 at the 35 yard line. Aggie defense had a good outing there on their first set. They are coached 
by their defensive line coach and also Bob Majeski also leading the defense. Defensive line coach Dakota Crichton. Coach knows defensive linemen up stopping Friends University on offense. And we have out Brandon Stevens in the pistol formation. We've got a zone run to the left with number 47. Making men miss is Ed Wilder, the freshman, on his first run for about five yards there. And Wilder will start in at start stay in at running back. Second running back we've seen today for the Aggies. Stevens trying to make him jump off sides. And Stevens throwing it quick. He was feeling the pressure there, but number but Fountain did not have his head turned around. That is an incomplete pass there by for the Aggies. Third and five. As we did see the Friends University defensive line get down in a three-point stance early on in that first drive. They weren't doing Trying to confuse the Aggies offensive line, but the Aggies have prepared for this. And that run there by 47 is out to the left sideline. He is going one man to beat. He has pushed out there at about the 26-yard line. A successful run there by Ed Wilder for about 25, 30 yards about for Ed Wilder there. That's the way you leave your mark as a, as a, as a freshman. But it will get called back on a holding call. No doubt there is still a good run there. And those kind of penalties on third down can kill a drive, those holding calls. As we now have, instead of a third and five, and maybe a first down all the way at the 30, we are now stuck here with a third and nine. Stevens is gonna have an empty backfield. We kinda seen us all this a little bit last time is Aggie's kind of having a little bit hard time getting lined up quick. We got five seconds, and we're gonna have to burn another time timeout. And the Aggies burning two timeouts on third down. As it looks like they're having just a little bit of trouble lining up. Maybe we, we don't have a timeout. I don't. Sh I heard a whistle. Maybe we're getting some clarification from the referees. Not sure exactly what's going on. But I made a mistake that it's not a timeout charge by the Aggies. We do have some refer a referee talking to Coach Majeski on the sideline. Third and nine. And the Friends defensive linemen are down in a three-point stance, bringing the blitz. Stevens rolling out to the right, making men miss, throwing it deep there for number 16, and he is out of bounds. Despite the argument from the Aggie sideline, they roll it out of bounds. A pass and catch was trying to go to Cortino Ray. Ruled incomplete. It'll make it a fourth down here. It's a good job of identifying the blitz by Stevens. Rolling out to the right side. Finding a man downfield. Just missed him by maybe a, a few feet out of bounds. First time we'll see. Panel say out to punt here. Number 65. Also doing the punting duties. Javier Sinencio. We got a flag on the snap. And we're going to have a delay of game on the offense. Couldn't get the snap off in time. That's going to push you back five yards.
Friends University lining up nice and tight. Tennessee gets the punt off. It's not a great one, but it does take an Aggie bounce down to about the 26-yard line. Friends University will be starting with better field position this time at the 26 instead of the 6 like last drive. See if they can maybe get more than 10 yards this time on the drive. Under center, 14, Jack Mullen. In the wing formation, Mullen dropping back to pass. Looking to throw deep on the deep post. Almost getting a one-handed catch is Kevin Green. But it falls incomplete there. Makes it second and ten. Aggies running more of a traditional defense compared to the Friends University. They're in their nickel right now, about a almost about a 3-3-5 three, three, is what they're running. Tried to draw them off with the hard with the hard count, didn't work. Mullins getting the new play call in from the coach. Handoff goes up the middle to the fullback. Number 31, he's out to the left sideline, breaking, making Aggie defenders miss. And number 31 with the good run, that's Zach Dressler, down to about the 29-yard line. Making a first and 10 for the Falcons. Zach Dressler on that successful run up the middle for about a 40 yard gain, the biggest play yet for the Falcons. They're giving it again to Dressler, Dressler just lowering his shoulder, gonna make defenders pay. He is tackled there after about a gain of five by number 57. Tyreek Kimball. Mullins under center. In motion. They're giving it again there to Dressler. Five yards. Good for first down, but we do have a flag on the interior offensive line. Illegal chop block on the offense. It'll be a 10 yard penalty. It'll make it a second down still. Excuse me, that's a 15-yard penalty. Aggie is going to stay with a 3-3-5 defense against this wing T triple option. Just at five minutes here to play in the first quarter. Mullins dropping back to pass. He is met by the Aggie D line. That is number 50. Victor Villa with the sack. Makes it a long third down here for the Falcon offense. We got a third and 26, just to be exact, third and 26 for the Falcons. 
That pushes him out of field goal range. Mullins met almost immediately again. And he is tackled there by number number two on the Aggies, Jordan Hunter. We've got a fourth and 18. And out come the special teams for the Falcons. And they're going to attempt a field goal here. We got a 56 yard field goal attempt coming up here from number 44, Bobby Schmidt. Schmidt's kick is up and no good. It is short. Aggies will take the ball here at about the 36 yard line. Defense for the Aggies coming up again with an all-important stop for the Aggies. Stevens is in the backfield, this time with number 41, Quincy Jones. Jones going to take this pass. He's going to run for at least 12 yards there before getting pushed out of bounds there by number 32, David Mason. But it is good for OPSU Aggie first down. And now in the backfield with Stephens is number 30, D. Gafford. Saw him earlier. Friends University and more of a traditional defense here. 3-3-5 three, three, defense, three down linemen, three linebackers. All defensive backs playing at least a 10-yard cushion on those receivers. And Stevens is going to make them pay off that cushion, Give, make it, throwing a quick slant there to number six, Ryan Acosta. When those defensive backs there play 10 yards off, we'll see Stevens throw that quick slant to Acosta almost all day long, second and about three. Stevens handing it there to Gafford. And that is good for an Aggie first down here. Ball at the 36 yard line. Just over two minutes and the Aggies keeping the tempo up here. Stevens keeping that one, making one man miss, but he is met in the backfield by number 49 for the Falcons. Jacob Castaneos. Stevens getting the play in from the sideline. It'll be a second and 12 here for the Aggies. Gafford with a good run, breaking one man miss. He's a, that's a good run for about 10 yards, making it a third and short now for the Aggies. Good run there on second down by Gafford, making this manage, more manageable, third and three. Stevens staying with the no huddle. Quick screen there out to number nine, Fountain. And as he's good for a first down on that quick bubble screen. First and 10 here. Ball is at the 24 yard line. Just under a minute here left to play in the first quarter. See if he's getting the play call into his offensive line. He's going to keep this one up to the left sideline. Stevens using his blocker. It's making moving forward. He'll be close to a first down. Yeah. 
second and maybe one. Quincy Jones in the backfield with Stevens. 18 seconds left in the first quarter. Stevens faking the screen out to, the, to Jones. He's keeping that one in there. We have a late flag though. That will be a rushing touchdown for Stevens with one second left. We have a flag on the field. I think this will be getting called back. Oh, we have an illegal low hit on the Fra Friends University Falcons. The result of the play is a touchdown. And Javier Sinencio will come in for the PAT. And you hear a chant from the sideline Chanty number 65. That is your kicker. And it's up and good for your Aggies. That, they have a lead here in the first quarter of 14 to 0. As a result of that play, that, la that touchdown play, the Aggies will be able to kick on the 50. That's a 15-yard penalty that, that helps the Aggies on the kickoff. Javier Sinencio, see if he can pin it deep, just right around the five-yard line. Give Pin them deep like they did in the first possession. This will most likely be the final play of the quarter with one second left. And Sinencio, he's just going to, Kick that deep. Oh, and the France University Falcons are going to take that out. Making men miss. Out to the 30-yard line is number 12, Zamarian Zim Gibson. And that will conclude the first quarter here at Anchor D Bank Arena in Goodwell, Oklahoma. Your score, OPSU Aggies 14, Friends University Falcons 0. Back here to start your second quarter of the play. Friends University is going to hand that off to their fullback, Zach Dressler. He's tackled immediately by number 11. 
Cameron Dickerson. Boland's getting the play call in here from the sideline. Down early, the Falcons are trailing by 14. They had some good plays, and then a costly penalty last drive kind of stalled their drive out. And they're going to hand it up to Dressler again. Dressler not getting much tackled there by number 25, Daquan Charles. The senior from New Orleans, Louisiana. In the wing T formation. Mullins pitches that one out to the left and Number eight for the Falcons, Waylon Chance. Has a good run there. Out for a first down there for the Falcons. We have a sideline warning on the Falcons that time. Second one we've seen, we had one earlier on the Aggies. Now one on the Falcons. The refs aren't going to let those coaches get out near the field of play. Mullins keeping that one going to the right side. He is tackled there by number 15, Nathan Alvarado. But he has a gain of there about eight yards there. As he had found a nice hole shot up in there. Aggies defensive line doing a good job so far containing this triple option. Point of this offense is to kind of wear down your D-line and linebackers, making them get tired, hopefully getting them confused on where the ball might be going. We have a difference different running back in here now for the Falcons, number 35. And that pitch is almost intercepted there by the Aggies, but corralled there by Rigsby. Number four, Jaquavian Daniels read that great, almost had the pitch. But Rigsby is able to get the first down. Your fullback now for the Falcons is number 35, Quinton Owens. We're seeing this triple option play work now for the Falcons. First and 10 as they get into Aggie territory. Ball at the 43. Mullins going to fall his guard, trying to fight forward. He is tackled there by number 11, Cameron Dickerson for the Aggies. Dickerson trying to rip that ball out, but Mullins keeping it tight to his chest. Second and five. We have a timeout here on the offense. 11 minutes, 19 seconds left here in the second quarter. Timeout. Friends.
as we get back here to play. Might be hard to see on the camera and in on video, but we do have some light rain coming in here into Goodwell. It's starting to get a light sprinkle, nothing too much. As we have do have some clear skies in front of us, but out to the west, it is starting to rain. And we have a run up there by number 35, Quinton Owens. He is good for a first down, a gain of about 12 yards there by Owens before getting tackled there by number four, Jaquivian Daniels. Owens being successful on that run, we now have Dressler back in at fullback for the Falcons. Falcons are eating up away at this clock, letting the clock d run down to about below 15 seconds on the play clock, but every play here. Mullins underneath center. Oh, and Mullins is wrapped up almost immediately, but so is Dressler. Dressler gets a gain of about four or five, but Mullins took a shot on that one by the by Cameron Dickerson. Oh, and I think we're going to have a full start here out on the right side by number 19. We'll see what we got here. We had one, we had an OPSU linebacker jump off sides. Could have a result in a neutral zone fraction. Yep, false start number 19, Christian Zarecki. That makes it a second and ten now. Mullins under center. Looking to pass there is Mullins. Throw to the left side. And that fall is incomplete intended for number four, Kevin Green. About five yards in front of him. Third and 11 here. We're within field goal range here for the Falcons. We saw them earlier try to kick a 56 yard field goal, but the Falcons are still trying to get a first down here. Let's see what they do. They've had successful runs for over 10 yards. Aggies linebackers playing tight to the di to the line of scrimmage. Mullins hands it up there to Dressler. Dressler may be gaining about four or five yards. That'll make it fourth down here for friends. And they're keeping their offense on the field. Oh, and then we got a light sub now for the special teams out to kick here for Friends University is number 44, Bobby Schmidt. The hold, Kevin Green. The hold is good. Kick is up for Schmidt, and it is good. For about a 39-yard field goal, Kevin Schmidt makes the score 14-3. to Aggie still leading here with nine minutes exactly left in the second quarter.
Back to receive for your Aggies is number five, Jalen Pardita, and number nine, Zemaray Fountain. Falcons teeing up to kick this one off from the 35 yard line. First time Schmidt kicked it, went out of bounds, gave the Aggies position at 35 to 35. Schmidt kicks this one down to about the five. It's fielded by Partita. Partita out around the right sideline, getting pushed out about the 26 yard line. First and 10 here. For the Aggies as we have Stevens in the shotgun formation. With Vian Ruffin in the running back position. And we're going to give delay a game here on the Aggies. Makes it a first and 15. Stevens taking the snap. Short pass there out on the flat to number 17. Kobe Hill, he is met for maybe no gain at all, actually. Second and 15 here for the Aggies. Run there goes to Ruffin, his first run of the game. Maybe a gain is about three yards, third and 12 here, long third down here for the Aggies. And we see that Falcon defense on third down, running some kind kind of zone blitz, trying to confuse the Aggie offensive line. Steven stepping up in the pocket. He's going to keep it out the left sideline. He runs out of bounds. It's not going to be good enough for a first down, though. He gets out about the 33-yard line. Make it about fourth and four. Aggie's going to be forced to punt. We, saw th we see that defense a lot there by the Falcons on third down. Their defensive line steps back from the line of scrimmage, trying to throw the offensive line off on their assi blocking assignments. That time, Stevens was able to step up in the pocket, gain a few yards. And we have 65, Javier Asensio to kick. A rolling bounce there. And Asensio gets a booming punt. It is fielded there by number nine, Dalen Harden, and he is met hard by number three, Kavaya Reese. Reese laying down the wood on that hit. I could hear that pop of the pads up here where the Falcons will start at the 25-yard line. And now the rain's starting to really come down and people pulling out their umbrellas. Some people are just going to come and try to hide underneath the awnings. Got blankets out. Seven minutes, five seconds left. Handoff there goes up there to Owens. 
Owens fighting for about 10 yards. Be good enough for a first down. And that rain's really coming down now here in Goodwell at Equity Bank Arena. Mullins drawing the Aggies off sides. Number 99, I think, jumping over the center. Yep, 99. That is number 99, Kayshawn Murphy on the encroachment. And the rain is pouring. This is kind of in the Falcons' favor as they are dedicated to the run. Out to the left sideline is number six, Lakin Cloudis. He's going to lose a yard, make it second and six. You didn't bring an umbrella. You wish you would have. Mullins handing that one off up there to Owens. Owens finding some room in the middle of the Aggie defense, getting blocks down below. He is eventually tackled there by number 15, Nathan Alvarado, the last line of defenders there for the Aggies. A gain of about 25 yards. And the Falcons are in Aggie territory. The farthest they've been so far this game at the 29-yard line. First and 10. Five minutes, 26 seconds left here in the second quarter. Mullins hands out one off there to number two. Making men miss is Rigsby. He's good for a first down, a gain of about 12 yards there for the Falcons. I think he's going to sub out some defensive linemen. The Falcons just eating away at this clock. Down to about eight seconds here on the play clock. And we're going to get a delay game. Oh, excuse me, never mind. We got a timeout on the offense here with. 438 left to go. OPSU still leading 14 to 3. After that timeout, it's first and 10 for the Falcons. Mullins under center. Handoff there goes to Dressler. Dressler sliding a little bit, tackled at about the five. 
We got a first and goal here for the Falcons. Still letting the clock tick down. Friends University comfortable here with their game plan. Mullins under center. Handoff there. He is down short of the goal line. Dressler is chipped up by the D-line. We're going to have it about the three, maybe the two. Mullen, Jack Mullen going out over to the sideline with his coach, getting the play call in. Huddling up for the first time, the Falcons are. Mullen trying to keep it himself, find around, moving around the left side, trying to get that extra push. No signal yet. He is down about the one. Third and goal. An all important down here for the Aggie defense and the Falcon offense. Three minutes left here to play. Tight formation here for the Falcons. And Mullen's just going to put his head forward and get in. No signal yet. Touchdown, Friends University Falcons. The kick here for the Falcons is number 44, Bobby Schmidt, after the successful rushing touchdown by the quarterback, Jack Mullen. Hold is good. Kick is up and good. We now have your score at 14 to 10 with two and a half minutes left here in the second quarter. Back deep for your OPS2 Aggies is number five, Jalen Pardita. Schmidt to kick for your Falcons. Kick is down to about the five yard line. Pardita fields it. We went up to the right sideline, and he is met at about the 23 yard line by number 20, Demetrius Tidwell. First and 10 for your Aggies at about the 22 yard line here. Just over two minutes to play. Perfect time to try out your two minute offense here for the Aggies for the first time of the season. See how they do with the no huddle. Brandon Stevens in shotgun formation. 
Stevens is going to fake the screen, running himself up to the right side. He is tackled there by number 35, Khalil Cherry. It's an OPSU Aggie first down. Gafford as well on the backfield with Stevens. Stevens this time looking, going to throw the, the slant. It is intercepted there by the Falcons. Number 29, Nolan Ewing. Almost a direct throw from Stevens to the Falcons defensive back. That'll give the Falcons the ball here with exactly two minutes. Aggies got two offensive plays here. And the way that the Falcons utilize that triple option, you can bet these this Aggie defense is trying to get into halftime. They're tired. They've been on the field for about six minutes last drive. Rain has kind of subsided here. Mullins under center. Hands it off there to Rigsby. He is tackled on the left sideline there by the Aggie defensive back. Second and nine. Falcons not really showing any hurry at all on the offense. Mullins is going to keep that one. He is tackled by number 11, Cameron Dickerson, and number 49, Dorian Woods. It is a third down here. Third and short. One minute left to play. Friends University not really showing any hurry yet. And they're going to hand that off to Owens. Owens is getting nowhere. And the Aggies stop them short on third down. Makes it fourth down here for Friends University. Clock is ticking here. 30 seconds left on the clock. 26 on the play clock. I can almost bet you Mullins is going to try to draw that defensive line off sides. Oh, they're going to run it there with Owens. Owens gets the first down, and we're going to get a timeout here. Oh, we got flags flying here at the end of the play. Got a scuffle. Two flags. play did result in a first down you got 14 seconds left to play After the play, we have an unsportsmanlike conduct on number 11, Cameron Dickerson. That's his first of the game. It'll be half the distance to the goal. We have 14 seconds left. Friends University has one timeout. 14 seconds. And the clock won't start until the ball is snapped here. Mullins looking to pass into the end zone. And we got flags on the field. We're going to get a defensive pass interference here as it didn't look like the Aggies defender had his head turned around. Got nine seconds left.
Pass interference on number 23, Joshua Stolovin. Ball will be placed on the one yard line. Nine seconds. Ball on six snap, hands it off to the fullback. He's in for a touchdown for the Friends University Falcons. Zach Dressler, but we do have a flag on the play. Getting a little bit chippy out there for both teams. Aggies had an early lead, 14 to zero. So we have an unsportsmanlike conduct on number 11 after the play, Cameron Dickinson. That is his second of the game. That means he is disqualified for the rest of the game here. Second unsportsmanlike conduct of the game for the Aggies and for number 11. Results still play, result will result in a touchdown for the Falcons. They take the lead here. Schmidt's kick is up and good. Falcons have a lead 17 to 14 with six seconds left here before half. Friends University will be able to kick off at the 50 as a result of that flag as well. But may have about one or two plays left here before halftime. Schmidt here to kick for the for Friends University. Partied it down at the five. That kick is into the end zone. Touchback. Aggies will get the ball at the twenty-five. Brandon Stevens, it's gonna look like he's about to just take a knee and go into halftime for the Aggies. And that's exactly what's gonna happen here. So here at halftime at Anchor D Bank Arena in no man's land, we have your score. Friends University 17, OPSU Aggies 14. We'll see you here in about 15 minutes.
PTCI brings you a truly unlimited mobile experience. <laughs> All right, you ready for a 20 mile hike? I guess. Take PTCI's totally unlimited bundle anywhere you want to go. Unlimited data, just like at home. If you guys are watching this, we're lost. No, mom, we're not actually lost. Uh, maybe. Call today at 1-800-562-2556 or visit us at ptci.net.
Get PTCI Fiber Internet or you might become the laggies. That's 20 bucks, sir. Here you go. Would you just call PTCI to install fiber internet? Don't become the laddies on your block. Call now for fast PTCI internet and get three months free whole home Wi-Fi. PTCI brings you a truly unlimited mobile experience. <laughs> All right, you ready for a 20 mile hike? I guess. Take PTCI's totally unlimited bundle anywhere you want to go. Unlimited data, just like at home. If you guys are watching this, we're lost. No, mom, we're not actually lost, but maybe. Call today at 1-800-562-2556 or visit us at ptci.net. We are back here to start the second half here at Anchor D Bank Stadium, no man's land field in Goodwill, Oklahoma. Got some cloudy skies, sun's trying to come out, peek through those clouds here. It's cooled down a little bit. And one, Sinencio off the kick here to the left. That falls out of bounds there for the Aggies. Good field position for a Friends University. Friends University has elected to re-cake instead of taking it at the 35-yard line. Pushing them back five yards. They will now kick at the 30. Juan Sencio gonna try to keep this one inbounds. The deep fourth Friends University. 
about about the five yard line. Send and see. Seals kick is fielded out of the five. A full head start there for his number 20, excuse me, number 10, Jet Cheatham. For the friends, they get the ball at about the 40 yard line. So that'll net them five yards on the return. They would have just taken the ball to 35. And we have an offsides on the kicking team. So uh, Friends University will get the ball at the 45 yard line. Let's see if the Aggies coaches could draw up a little bit better defensive strategy for that interior line as Friends University late in the second quarter was able to beat down on the Aggie defensive line, getting run after run four or five, six yards at a time and put some drives together. Jack Mullen Hands that one off there to Dressler. Dressler is untouched up the middle. First play of the third quarter. Friends University gets the score. Friends University now has 24, 23 unanswered points. And the Aggies have yet to find an answer. Schmidt for the PAT. And it is good. Makes it score 24 to 14. Schmidt, the re kick for the Falcons. High kick, fielded at about the 20. Oh, Aggies are just going to fall on that one at about the 22 yard line. And that's where the Aggies will get start their drive at the 22, first and 10. Brandon Stevens throwing the screen pass there to Partita for a gain of about five. Stevens throwing that screen pass again there. That is caught by Acosta. Maybe a gain of a yard. Falcons staying in that 3-3-5 defense, third down.
trips to the right side for the Aggies. Stevens doesn't get them to jump off sides. Stevens looking out to the right, throws the slant, and it is ruled incomplete. Looked like Pardita had that one caught. And the Aggies are going to be forced to punt, giving the Falcons the ball back. Tenicio, the freshman, back to punt. Tenicio's punt takes a bounce. It's fielded there by his friends. Trying to make men miss. He's tackled there about the 26-yard line is Dylan Harden. And Jack Mullen out again for the quarterback for Friends University. Successfully running this triple option here today. Mullen looking to pass, throwing the ball. It's intercepted there by the Aggies. And we got a late flag here. It looks like we're gonna have this interception Gonna be called maybe we're gonna have a, a legal block on the interception return. Illegal blindside block number 25 of Panhandle State, but that ball was intercepted by number 15, Nathan Alvarado. It'll be first down OPSU at the 46 yard line. Aggies will offense will get another shot at this. Thirteen minutes in the third quarter. Stevens trying to draw him off sides. Keeping it, throwing it, and we're gonna get a, a flag here. Trying to throw that pass to the tight end, number 17, Kobe Hill. He was getting held up there by the linebacker. Couldn't get free. Pass interference on the defense, number 11, Noah Ferguson. It'll be an Aggie first down. That run there by Stevens. Aggies looking for for a flag. They're late. Not gonna get one. Aggies coach Bob Majeski. Trying to talk to that ref, saying, where, where's the flag at? Trying to get a late hit. No luck. Second and nine here for the Aggies. Stevens throwing the slant. That is caught there by number 16, Nathan Al Al Coutinho Ray. My bad. Number 16, Coutinho Ray on the catch. Results in an OPSU Aggie first down.
Aggies first down. Stevens throwing the screen pass there. Making men miss and trying to get back to the line of scrimmage is number 47, Ed Wilder. Maybe making it to the line of scrimmage. It's second and 10. Aggies in the red zone here at the ball is at the 18, second and 10. Wilder back at running back with Stevens. Stevens hands that off to Wilder. Wilder slipping up just there, maybe because that field's a little slick from the rain, but he found a hole there in that defense. Good blocking up front that time by the Aggie O-line. They'll make it third and inches. Oh, and we're going to. I think the refs are going to measure, take a measurement here. And now we have a signal for a first down. First and goal here for your Aggies. Steven takes a snap, hands it off there to Wilder. Wilder up to the left sideline, getting blocks, jumping over a man, and he's in for an OPSU Aggie touchdown. But we do have a flag here. Looks like we're going to get a holding on that left side. It's a 10-yard penalty. The Aggies will have to try again. That makes it from a first and goal at the 9 to a first and goal at the 19. Oh, excuse me, my bad, at the 14. Stevens passes short, intended for Wilder. Wilder had green in front of him, but it will fall incomplete, making it second down. Good play call there. Stevens just couldn't get the ball out to him. Friends University Falcons trying to hold them here inside the goal. Second and goal here. Friends University using that defensive line strategy, creeping up to the line of scrimmage. Jet sweep there goes along the right side of the edge. Wilder getting a block. Fountain on the run, but I think we're going to have an illegal cut block here by Wilder. And that just pushes the Aggies back even farther now. Down by 10 here with 10 and a half minutes left to play in the third quarter. Ball is now at the 24 yard line, second and goal. It makes it hard to convert here in two plays. You gotta make up 24 yards. Friends University staying in that zone Defensive package, bringing the blitz. Stevens is sacked there by number 54, Tucker Trevitt. Makes it third down here for the Aggies. Maybe even pushing them out of field goal position as we have the ball to 31. The Aggies don't gain any yards. This would result and about a 46 yard field goal. Gotta get a little bit closer to give the freshman Javier Sinencio a chance. 
Stevens passes over the hands of Fountain. Incomplete. Fourth and goal. Aggies is a late substitution here. Five seconds left on the play clock here. Stevens looking to pass. That is incomplete out to the flat. Turnover on downs for the Aggies. Friends University making the stop. Friends University, Cohn blitzes up the right time, getting pressure on the quarterback. Offensive line there for the Aggies broke down there near the end of that drive. Let's see if offensive coordinator Christian Escobar can, can draw up something here for the Aggies. Dressler on the run. Second and 10. We do have an injury here for the Aggies. Looks to be number 57 shaken up on the play. Tyreek Kimball. Kimball shaking up, but he's able to come to his feet and jog off the side to the sidelines for the Aggies. Make it about second and ten here. Aggies, this is an all important stop here for the Aggies. Friends University trying to extend the lead. Mullins under, under center, wing formation. Ends it off there to Dressler. Dressler, he's about for sure going to get five yards to carry here. Dressler will be. And that's the strategy for the Falcons. If they can just get five, six yards to carry, two plays they have a first down. And it eats away at this defense. Oh, and we got a good hit there on the for the Aggies number two, Jordan Hunter, stopping Caden Rigsby. On third down, it's fourth down here for friends, forcing them to punt. Aggies defense got to stop when it needed them the most. And out to punt for friends, University is number 44, Bobby Schmidt. Schmidt's punt is up in the air. Good punt. Fair catch called for there for the, by the Aggies. And we do have a flag. As we had a fair catch called, number 50 ran into the return of Killian Graham.
I'm not sure what the discussion is. We have a flag on the OPSU Aggie defense, 12 men on the field. That was a five-yard penalty, results on a first down here for Friends University. <laughs> Giving Friends University a new set of downs. The run there by Whalen Chance is good for our Friends University first down gain of about 14 yards. First and 10 here for friends in Aggie territory. Ball at the 43-yard line. Mullins getting a few yards, three or four yards here on the carry. Friends University Falcons, second and six here. Run there goes to Owens. We do have a, looks like we're going to have a holding call here. Run is good enough for a first down. We got two fouls holding on number 57. That penalty is declined. Illegal block below the waist by number 56. That penalty is accepted. It's a 15 yard penalty. It'll replay second down. Five fifty-seven here left to play in the third quarter. Friends University still up by ten. Owens in at fullback. Motion. Pitch goes out. Met immediately by a number four, Jaquivian Daniels. Whalen chances stopped in the backfield. Makes it a third and long here for the Friends University. We we'll have a player for sure passing down here for friends. Yep. Pass is intended, and it is intended there for number 84, but broken up by the Aggie secondary. Mullins trying to throw it there to number 84. Austin Pratt makes it fourth down here for friends at their own 44 yard line.
We got Aggies coming off. One Aggie coming off here. Make sure we have 11. Schmidt with the punt. It's up. And it bounces down to about the 17-yard uh, line there where the Aggies will take over with 4.38 here in the third quarter. Stevens in the shotgun formation. Screen pass there goes out to Fountain. He is met there after again about two yards. In the pistol formation here, Stevens hands it off there. Making men miss is Quincy Jones. Short gain there for him. Makes it third and five for the Aggies. Stevens getting the play call in. Eight seconds left on the play clock. Stevens going to try to run it to the right side. He is met there by number 49 on the defense. Jacob Castaneos. That makes it fourth down here for the Aggies. Aggies are going to be forced here to punt. Try to flip the field here on the Falcons as Javier Senecio. Punt is bobbled there by Senecio. And he is going to be tackled at about the nine. That is not what the Aggies need. Aggie's gonna the Falcons gonna have good field position here. First and goal for Friends University. Mullen hands it off there to Dressler. Jarsler maybe gains about two yards. Second down. Mullen throwing it, and we do have a touchdown pass here completed to number four, Kevin Green. We do have a flag. I think we're going to have an offsides on the defense.
Off, off sides on the defense by number 99 and holding on the offense by number 54. Those penalties will offset, will replay second down. That negates the touchdown. One forty-one left here in the third quarter. Mullins hands it off there to Dressler. Dressler fights up to about the two-yard line. One oh three left in the third quarter. Mullins hands it off there to Rigsby. And Rigsby's in for a touchdown. Number two, Caden Rigsby on the two-yard rush touchdown there for Friends. And we do have a late flag here. We have an unsportsmanlike conduct on the OPSU coach, Bob Majeski. It'll be enforced on the kickoff. Kick is up and good here. That makes your score 31 to 14. Aggies. Trailing 31 to 14, the Friends University. It appears to me that OPSU's head coach was arguing about a block in the back, a potential block in the back, missed call the on the run, that touchdown run there by the Falcons. As Aggies here, the mayor Fountain trying to run it back, he gets chipped up at the 20 by number 26, Braylon J. This offense by Friends University it just wears down you drive after drive after drive. The longer it continues on, the longer you let them be on the field, it tires out your defensive line, tires out your linebackers. And it hurts that the that OPSU is missing one of their star linebackers, number 11, and Cameron Dickerson, who got ejected earlier in the second quarter with after two unsportsmanlike penalties. Brandon Stevens looking to throw it here. Pass is incomplete there. Intended for number eight, but he just threw it out of bounds. Looked like Stevens did. Getting blitzed there by the Friends University. Stevens in the shotgun. 
Throwing the quick pass, and that has fallen incomplete. Intended for Fallon. He's bro. It's he's hit immediately there by the friends of defender number twenty-nine, Nolan Ewing. Third and ten. Aggie offensive line got to pick up that blitz from friends. That's off the hands of number six, Ryan Acosta, falling incomplete. That brings up a punting down here for the Aggies. Aggie receivers got to catch that pass there. And Javier Sencio, the punt here for the for the Aggies. See if we can get a better snap to him this time. Sinisio sends that one booming down about the 45-yard line. Tripping up there is number nine, Dylan Harden on the return. Maybe loses a yard on the return there. Good tackle about the 40. 42. We have a timeout on Friends University. Here with 12 seconds left here in the third quarter. Back here to play, Mullen under center. And he is going nowhere, is Dressler maybe gains a yard, second and nine. Excuse me, that was Owens on the run. And that concludes the third quarter here. Friends University, 31. OPSU Aggies, 14.
We are back here to start the fourth quarter here at Anchor D Bank Arena Stadium, No Man's Land, and Mullins is tackled immediately there by number 10 by the Aggies, Alex Holguin. It is now third and long here for Friends University. Friends University up by 17. Third and long here, friends. Mullen takes a snap there, keeps it himself, looking for the first down. He's not going to get it. A short gain there, tackled there by number 44 of the Aggies, William Rodriguez. Bouncing back deep for Panel State. Schmidt, the punt, almost blocked. Schmidt's punt goes deep into the end zone for a Panhandle State touchback. First down, Aggies at the 20-yard line here. 13-30 left to play in the fourth quarter. Aggies offense is trying to find a spark. Haven't scored since the first quarter. Need to get some points on that scoreboard if they want to come back here. And that is tipped, almost intercepted there by number 13, Braden Gordon by the defense. Not a great pass there by Stevens. Second and 10 here for the Aggies. Stevens is in the backfield along with number 47, Ed Wilder. Stevens passing it there. It's complete to Catino Ray for our first down for the Aggies. That run there goes to Wilder. He maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 here for the Aggies. Three wide receivers out on the left side. That pass is Right on point to Fountain and dropped. He had the first down and possibly more. Those are costly mistakes, making it a third and long. Steven starting long here, 12 and a half minutes. Looking to pass there, it goes to Pardita. Pardita trying to make men miss, getting to the first down. He maybe gains about six there. Make it fourth and four for the Aggies. And they're going to bring on out the punt team here. Yeah. 
despite Stevens wanting to stay out there and go for it on fourth down. Sencio gets a low punt, not that great. That's down there at the 39-yard line. Not a great th punt there by Sencio where the Friends University Falcons will start their drive first and 10. Mullins under center. He hands it off there to Dressler. He's met immediately by the Aggie defensive lineman number 50, Victor Villa. And as we've seen before, Falcons offense just going to run the clock. And then just going to run it down. Short gain there on the play for the Falcons. Makes it a third and six here. And all important down here for the Aggie defense to trying to get their offense back on the field. Ball is at the 43-yard line. Mullins under center. Keeps it looking for a pass. And that is caught there by Kevin Green for an at for a Falcons first down. <laughs> Defense is trying to get that ball back in their offensive hands. About every play we see the Falcons run this clock down to right below 10 seconds for saying hike. Dressler takes it. He gains three or four yards. Makes it second down here. We're at not just under nine and a half minutes. Owens is in at fullback for the for Friends University. Mullins is tackled immediately there in the backfield. We got a third and ten. And we got a timeout here on OPAC with 841 left. Third and ten.
Third and 10 here for the Aggies. Pitch there, goes out to the left sideline. He is out at about the 40 yard line, being pushed out of bounds there by number 10. Alex Holguin, Whalen Chance on the run, makes it about fourth and five. And the Falcons are going to stay on here, try to get this one all important down here as the Aggies need the ball back. Trying to get them the jaw off sides. It does not happen. And we got a timeout here on Friends University with 8.01 left to play. Fourth and four. On all important here, fourth down as the Falcons line up, get ready to go for it here, fourth and four. Owens in at fullback. Rigsby in motion, trying to get on draw offsides again, doesn't work. Mullins getting the play call in from the sideline. Throwing the ball is Mullins, he's gonna throw it deep. And that is incomplete. Intended for number four, Kevin Green. Aggies defense makes a stop that they need to get the offense the ball. Still got a long ways to work at as they're down by 17 points with one timeout. First and 10 for your OPSU Aggies. Needing a quick score here in the fourth quarter. Brandon Stevens is out there in the shotgun formation. Three receivers to the right. Throwing the wheel route there to Fountain. That is a good 18 yard pass and catch there to Fountain. Running back in the backfield is D. Gif Gafford. Stevens looking, throwing the crossing route there to number 85. Decree Williams, first down there. And looks like we have an Aggie player down, offensive lineman. Number 58 appears to me, Calum Anchontolo, Calum Chondo.
And the Trundo is getting helped off by the off the field there. Stevens in the shotgun formation along with Gafford at running back. Brandon Stevens throwing the wheel route through the hands of Pardita. Makes his second in 10 here for the Aggies. Stevens throws it out the flats to Gafford. Gafford trying to make men miss. He gets about five or six yards there on the play before getting tackled by number three, Aaron Jamison Johnson. Stevens looking to pass again. He throws it to his receiver, looking for a flag. And they're not going to get one. That's intended for, I think that's number three. Oh, excuse me, that was number 18. 16 cutting Ray. We got a full start here on the offense. On fourth down. Stevens alone in the backfield here. Three receivers out to the left. Bad snap there for Stevens on fourth down. He's rolling out, trying to make defenders miss. Getting a block there by number six. And Stevens able to get up to around the 12-yard line before getting tackled by number 23, Jacoby Smith. Stevens making it work on his legs to get the Aggies a first down. Just over six minutes here left to play. Pick it up a necessary block there by number six, Ryan Acosta. And that gives the Aggies a little bit of excitement there as it's first and ten. Stevens making another man miss, putting his shoulder down, driving down into the nine-yard line. Second and five. Number 45, Avalian Ruffin in at running back for your Aggies. Aggies taking time trying to get the play call in. Stevens following his blockers. He's not getting there. Stopped for a short gain. Makes it third and five. Ag
Aggies offense taking some time taking time to get the play call off. 445 left here to play. Jet sweep there to Fountain. Fountain around the right sideline. He's going to run out of room. That'll make it fourth down here for the Aggies. Stevens getting the play call in. Got five seconds left to go on the play clock. Gets a snap off here. Stevens looking to the right, throwing to slant way over the head of his receiver. Well, they were looking for a rough in the passer call. They're not going to get it there. Falcons will take over. First down, 350 left. That is Dressler on the run. Second and five here. And the Falcons. Just going to take their time running the clock. They got a sweep here going out to Rigsby. Rigsby making a man miss. He's tackled there by number 44. First and 10 here for the Falcons. Now under three minutes left to play. Falcons just going to let the clock tick down. We've seen a good running attack here by Friends University today. They've been able to eat away at this Aggie defense. Bressel, Dressler with the run. He gets a few yards there on the carry before getting tackled by number 40, William Simons. Timeout OPSU here with 2.14 left. Falcons still leading 31 to 14.
Falcons here, second and five. Hands it up there to Dressler. Dressler is finding room. He'll be close to a first down here. Third and two. And I think we got a offsides here on the Aggies. That pass is dropped by number four, Kevin Green. Offsides on number 92 by the Aggies. Amon Coleman. That will result in a first down for Friends University with 132 left. Clock running here. Aggies have no more timeouts. And Mullins in the victory formation for the Friends University Falcons. We've seen a great one here today, guys. Aggies took an early 14-0 lead. Then we saw the field goal here by Kevin Schmidt for the Falcons, making it 14-3 at the end of the first quarter. The end of we had two... T two touchdowns there in the second quarter, making it a 24-14 lead going into the halftime. And now it's 31-14 here. This is going to be your final score here here at Anchor D Bank Stadium. Friends University coming in here last year only having a 1-9 record, getting their first win here on the season on the season opener. Aggies are going to fall here to 0-1. They're going to face Langston University next Saturday away at Langston. Panhandle State will leave this arena disappointed here at Anchor D Bank Stadium. Thank you all for tuning in to this PTCI live stream. We have area games all, all season long. We got fo uh, football, we got volleyball. We'll be back here in the OPSU for volleyball next week. Area high school games, softball, football, Basketball going on in the winter. Make sure you subscribe, you like, follow for more content here. This is the voice of the Panhandle, Nathaniel Watson, signing off. Thank you all for this PT side live stream. Friends University Falcons 31, OPSU Aggies 14. Get PTCI Fiber Internet, or you might become the laggies. That's 20 bucks, sir. Here you go. Would you just call PTCI to install Fiber Internet? Don't become the laggies on your block. Call now for fast PTCI Internet and get three months free whole home Wi-Fi.